This video is how to exchange or replace the compressor on a Vindo View 30 or Vindo View 40. Okay, to remove the compressor, it's fairly simple. You just loosen these knobs. Remember, lefty loosey, as if you were looking from the top. And loosen the knobs. As we loosen the knobs, the front end of this compressor is going to lower down, releasing the seal against the top, which is where all of our cold air has been going up. And that will then allow us to pull the compressor out of its position once we disconnect all these wires. Before completely removing your compressor, put a piece of tape down showing where it should be lined up to. That way when you put the new compressor in, you can make sure it's fully back into position. I like to make sure that the machine is unplugged here. And then I also unplug the compressor. Then you're going to have some additional wires, one for the sensor, knows how cold the machine is, and another here for all the electronics to the compressor. Once that's done and all the wires are carefully moved out of the way, you can grab this handle and just lift and slide it out of the machine being careful not to catch any wires on the way out. Then once it's slid out of the machine, I make sure that all three sets of wires are tucked into here. It has a handle on the back as well and a handle on the front, so you don't have to worry about any of these sharp edges. You can go ahead, using your knees, pick it up and remove it from the machine. Looking back into the machine, you can see that there are three ramps. And this far left one actually has an edge on it to guide your compressor in when you slide it back and up into position. Uh, you'll be tightening those front legs to lift up the front of your compressor to create a tight seal against the ceiling of this compressor compartment where you have the chamber that allows the cold air to go into the main refrigerated area of the machine. As you can see in the back, this cord is in the way and may get stuck and, and prevent our compressor from going in properly. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck that back out through the back right now. Okay, with our replacement compressor, we're going to make sure we can easily reach our wires and move them towards the front of the compressor. The front is where the three black knobs are that we're going to uh, use to lift the compressor once it's slid into place. And we make sure we have a nice clean surface here. We're going to use our two handles to lift our compressor using our legs and bring it down here into position. Once it's in position, we should feel it lift up. I'm going to use my light to look in the back and make sure I have lined it up with our guide. Being careful not to damage the fins on the, the compressor, I push this back into place. As you can see, the new compressor is lined up with our tape, so it's in the right place. We can make sure our wires are all can reach, and we can lift it back up into place. I like to do this by kind of adjusting all of these evenly so I don't put too much pressure on any one bolt. It just needs to fit snugly. It doesn't need to be squished against this top surface, but as I raise this, I can feel the gap at the top closing so that we get a nice tight seal. So it looks like we have our compressor in place, nice and secure. It's time to connect all the fittings. And with these Molex, they only go certain ways, so you really can't do it wrong. You can only do it right. That connects there. Our power cord. One part is male and one part's female, just to make sure no one connects the wrong ones to the wrong things. And before I connect that last power cord, I'm going to connect this Molex, which fits down here. One of the last things we do is we put our guide back in so our door will close properly. 
drop it in nose first, place it down, and then just tighten this screw. So we're finished now. We've had our machine on a while. We check. We see that our temperature is dropping. It's cooling. Machine's fixed.